I want to talk about gender roles because I have recently come to a new conclusion that I would like to share with you. And this definition of masculinity and femininity is just really problematic because it just eliminates and isolates everyone who doesn't have qualities that are masculine, which is called patriarchy. And the thing is, patriarchy doesn't just affect women. Basically, everyone who isn't masculine is just less awesome than everyone else. I wondered if maybe there is some emotional and mental differences between the two sexes. I started doing research for an English paper I had that I was going to do on patriarchy, of course, and I came across this brilliant anthropologist named Margaret Mead. Now, Margaret Mead was really great. She was so cool, and she really wanted to find out how biological these gender roles we have established are. So she went to Africa, and she found about a hundred tribes that were really isolated, and she studied them. And what she found was that some, indeed, did take on the masculine and feminine gender roles that we, our society, perpetuates. But some took on really mixed up roles and some took on the complete opposite. So her conclusion to her findings was that gender roles are in fact not biological, otherwise how could so many of these tribes have mixed up gender roles? She did find though that a lot of the tribes did take on the same gender roles as us. It was more of a trend, but not absolute. So I'm looking at this research and I'm like, what does this mean? Does this mean that it is biological? Does it mean that it's not? And the thing is, there is no way to know. With the research and technology we have now, there's no way to determine whether or not equality is in fact socially inflicted or if it is biological. There are so many studies trying to prove that like men are better at math and science. So then you get this these studies that say yes they do indeed score better on math tests. But then you get to wonder was it that they were really inherently better at it or did more teachers just call on the little boys in third grade than the little girls? So of course I came to my own conclusion about all this and I have come up with a brilliant answer I think. So I think that there aren't any qualities that are inherently male or female besides obviously biological things like height and like reproductive stuff, okay? Those are set based male and female. I do think that all these qualities that we've been categorizing are really just things that humans can be. But then we get the whole, the whole thing with how, why was there a trend though? How do I explain the trend? And I think that it just makes sense for women to take on a more compassionate role in society and to be the caregivers and the family people because they're the ones who are physically having the children. Of course, that doesn't mean that that should be a standard or people should be limited to those boundaries, but I think that that just makes sense why a lot of tribes have taken on that sort of process. That's what our society does. It, it categorizes people by gender. But we take this trait that's basically this master trait of how we identify people and we dichotomize it. Which is ridiculous because gender is totally relative and totally there's like an unlimited amount of combinations that there could be. So it's really annoying that men even have this opportunity to take advantage of the system. But the thing is, if things would have been switched around long ago and women would have, femininity would have been seen as ideal, then it would just be a more matriarchal system and it would just suck for all the people who are masculine. It could go either way is my point. And it just sucks that though we have recognized it as a problem, men still take advantage of it. The only way to change this though is to talk about it. To talk about it though as the problem it is. To talk to people about why something they say is perpetuating the patriarchy, to kind of empower people who are feminine to really to really not shy away from expressing that. We need to address the difference in the way masculinity and femininity are perceived. That perception is really what limits us as a culture and as a, a species because it happens all over the world. So we could just really open up the potential of humanity, I think, if we tackled this issue. This is the end of the video. 